What is going on, my hustlers? I want to talk about a stock today that has been mentioned in just about every forum I'm on, every uh, Reddit, Facebook group. I mean, everything. It's getting talked about all the time. And uh, I put some money into it early, just checked the analytics of it real quick, and then kind of just forgot about it. It hasn't moved a whole lot, but I wanted to make a video, kind of run down the numbers, what I'm seeing, and then uh, whether or not I'll be buying more. Um, I just told you I bought a little bit, but I'll let you know if I'm going to buy more. So that company is GNUS, Genius, GNUS. They run uh, the Cartoon Channel with a, car with a K. Uh, they're an educational company that markets towards uh, young kids. And uh, so I pulled up their app. They have five stars with, I don't want to get this wrong, 6,200 reviews all five stars. So 6,200 is not as much as I wish they had, but the rating being five stars, I mean, that's that's impossible. I mean, like, you know, Facebook doesn't have that or, you know, the, the best apps that we use every single day doesn't even have that. So to have five stars uh, is just incredible. Um, as far as the numbers go, they are sitting at uh, $2 million in debt, which is not too much debt considering they have $50 million in cash. So the reason the cash holdings uh, is important is because that's what keeps you afloat during times like this. So they are nowhere near bankruptcy. Their financials look wonderful. Um, but if you look back at the stock history, as you're probably doing, you're pulling this up, you'll see that it popped back in July. And it popped basically on a tweet that said, we got some big news coming. And then everybody said, great, let's pump and dump this. And that's what happened. And so as I checked the forums, there are a lot of bag holders out there, which means they bought it four, five, six, seven dollars as this thing ran up and thought, oh, wow, this is a great company. We're holding on to it. And then here we are back at, you know, two dollars or under two dollars. And so people are wondering, what should I do? Or maybe there's people like us who've kind of sat on the sideline. We watch this thing and is now a time to, to, to get in. And so the management, I'll, I'll be honest, the management uh, has not been the best from what I see, from what I read. It has not always handled it the best. And I say that in the fact of, again, I, I downloaded the app, played around with it some, and the flow of it is not the most user-friendly. I played with a lot better apps. It is nowhere near Facebook. It is nowhere near uh, Spotify, just as far as ease of use, you know, these apps that we use all the time. And so uh, I don't know how much of a, uh, a deterrent that is, you know, detriment to uh, to elementary uh, students. Um, I don't know, you know, like how much, um, you know, parents set it up and then just give it to their kids or, or how many, uh, how often will they give you that chance? Will they say, hey, bear with us through this app process, but set it up and you're going to love it because Here's the actual content, and hopefully you made it this far in the video, but here's the actual content of the videos, and this is what makes this company just absolutely incredible, is that they have partnerships with some of the biggest and best names out there. We all know and love Stan Lee, rest in peace, right? Stan Lee, creator of the whole Marvel Universe, Spider-Man, all of that. They have a partnership with Stan Lee. And so that means they have the rights to all of Marvel characters. And so as they create these educational shows, they can use any Marvel character that they want. They have a partnership with Jim Henson, Dr. Seuss, The Grinch, the list goes on and on. They have a, a kindergarten special out right now with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He does the voice for it. And so they have partnered with some of the best, best people. And I saved the, one of my favorite guys for last. I, I, I hate him because he left Orlando because I'm an Orlando Magic fan. But I love him because just every time you watch him on TV, he is, he just, you have to watch him. He's going to say something crazy. And that is my boy Shaquille O'Neal. Shaq, Shaq went to, he, this is what Shaq did this weekend. Shaq was Shaq a Claus in Atlanta. Shaq a Claus in Atlanta. He went, gave out a, a whole bunch of toys and Shaq has partnered with this company. He actually invested a good amount of money with them. And so the company's not going to go bankrupt. When is the company going to pop? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They have not put a bunch of money in advertisement, which works for Tesla, but a lot of companies, they need that they need that bump. They need uh, to get on the front page of things. Now, some of their shows, they've made it to Nick Jr. 
they made it on TV. Uh, so they, they have some momentum going with them. But right now they're building a lot of partnerships, strategic partnerships, which again is awesome. And their content is good. It's just the management does not have the best platform to release their product. And I, again, I've tried to look at their marketing strategy as far as moving forward is how do you get this from where they're at to where they could go knowing that they have these partnerships and I don't see the best plan moving forward. Now, with all that said, there is a there is a lot of wisdom to building a strong base, a building that strong foundation before you build too high. Because we see companies all the time come out, they build real high, and then they come toppling down because they don't have a strong base foundation. So I, I really like uh, the partnerships they have. I think they're wonderful. And I've, I've talked about this before about a lot of these stocks, is I love that they are in a space that makes you feel good about investing in. You love investing in the education of children. It makes you feel good knowing that, you know, we've all been out to restaurants. We've all been waiting at in lines at the DMV or anywhere. And you see kids just looking down at tablets. And so if they have, um, you know, this app and it, and it gets a little bit better, gets a little bit more user friendly, or if more people just find out about it. I mean, again, what I say, 6,200 ratings, all five stars. So when people actually use it, they love it because the content is awesome because you're bringing guys like Shaq, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you have these ridiculous partnerships. They even partnered with uh, with Alibaba recently. And so you are partnering internationally with some of the best companies. And so at the end of the day, where do I see the stock going? Um, it may still take some time to rise. Those of those people who are still holding the bag uh, from over the summer, you know, when they, when they bought the stock at five or six dollars, they are not wanting to necessarily jump back in. Although, if that's you, I would say buy in dollar cost average down. You know, get your position at at a, at a better rate. You know, um, and then for those of us on the sideline, I would say don't invest anything that you're wanting a return on quickly. So I see this. Even though it is a penny stock because it is cheap, it is going to be a long-term play. I don't think this company is going anywhere. Their partnerships are too good. They have too much cash uh, sitting in the bank to go bankrupt. But at the same time, there's nothing that I see right now as that catalyst. Now, could that catalyst come from anywhere? Of course it could. Of course it could. I mean, you're working with Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, Shaq's one of the biggest names. He's got, he's had his own movies. He's had his own TV show. Uh, you know, he talks, uh, you know, multiple times a night about basketball. And so a guy like Shaq, if he starts throwing some bones this way, I mean, this app could take off, you know what I'm saying? And so, uh, so for me, I am, I am establishing a position as far as my overall portfolio. I mean, we're talking like a, a 1%, 1% and a half. Um, so again, I'm not throwing a bunch of money toward it, but I do, Again, feel good when I invest in children learning. Uh, I, I like supporting companies I know that are doing good. And then, you know, as far as uh, not that my platform is huge, but I want people to know that this is uh, one of the best learning platforms out there, you know. And so, uh, you know, if you have kids, check this out. If, if Even if you don't want to invest, check this out because you're dealing with some great partnerships here and they really, really want kids to learn. That is their end goal. And so I think that's something that we all want to see is, is kids have the opportunity for education. And so check this app out for sure. Uh, the company, again, um, that, that's my two cents on it. It's financially uh, stable right now. It's not going anywhere, but I don't see that major catalyst. So let me know what you think of the video. Let me know if you're going to invest in it, uh, how much you got in it. If you're one of those bag holders, hey, no shame in the game. We all make mistakes sometimes. I'm sitting at uh, on IDEX right now. I'm I'm holding the bag. I think I have a minute like 220. And so uh, so it happens from time to time. Uh, no shame in it. I think that's the thing. Sometimes when you watch these videos, and, and if you made it this far, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. But if you made it this far, um, here's what make this here's what makes the stock market uh, an exact science. That you know somebody can look at the data. They can look at you know, social media posts, they can look at, you know, what they think is going to happen. They can look at the analytics, the numbers, and you can have two very well respected, two people that make a bunch of money in the stock market, and they can disagree on a certain stock. And that's just the way that it goes sometimes. And so 
if you watch this video and you go, I hate that stock, I get it. I respect you for it. Hopefully, my information here has helped you make a better decision for yourself. That is what my video is about. It, my whole channel is about just providing education, hopefully in a timely manner. Hopefully that can save you, you know, hours and hours of digging through the internet, digging through uh, the newspaper, digging through YouTube, Reddit, Facebook, whatever. I'm pulling as much information as I can and putting it in a video for you. So if you like this video, hit that like button. If you really like this video and you want to see more uh, things, hit subscribe. If there's a company you want, to, uh, you want me to check out, let me know in the comments. I'll greatly, greatly appreciate it. This is your first time to the channel or first time looking at investing in stocks. The best trading platform, in my opinion, is Webull. Um, it lets you trade more. It has more options. It has more insights than some of the other popular ones out there like Robinhood. And if you sign up during this month, you get four free stocks. So check the link down below. Sign up with Webull. You got to use my link to get those four free stocks. Put in $100. You don't have to use it. Just put in $100. You get four free stocks that could be valued up to, I think it's like $1,600. So that's uh, a great, great platform to get started in. All right, you guys have a good evening and have a good rest of the day, y'all.